Evening everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted us to finish this gorgeous picture tonight. So last night I finished asking you what colours I should do the petticoat in. And I think I only had one reply sadly, and that was do it in red. So I went ahead and coloured it in the same colours as we'd done the baubles and her lovely stockings. And um, I'm quite happy with how the snow has dried on the ground. But now I have the dreaded background to do. And although I'm getting more confident, it still terrifies me that I'm going to ruin an image. So, we're going to try it together. I've got my precious Caran d'Ache palette board. And I've chosen, let's come in. Yay, I managed to get the zoom right. Woohoo! And happy Friday everyone, yay! So I've chosen to start with light blue. Now I figure, this is my thinking, that um, I can put this down, we can put this base down and I can build on it. Let me just put my computer on mute before it annoys everyone with all the notifications. Okay, so I've got my big brush, or well my bigger brush, and I've got my more detailed brush here. So I'm going to start this teeny weeny bit down here because I'm chicken. And then I have got a bigger brush if we should need it. So like we did the other day, I'm going to put some water on here. And I'm just going to have to go for it, aren't I, folks? It's scary. So, but we can build up this colour and we're probably going to need to. More than likely, if you look at that colour. <laughs> That's because I'm scared. But we can build it up. Okay, so I'm going to do under here, and we are definitely going to need darker. But this is just going to give me some confidence to um, get some colour on there. And then we can deepen it up when we know what we're dealing with. Okay. I think I'm talking to myself more than I am you, saying, OK, it's OK, you can do it. Well, look, get some more colour in there. So we made it, folks. It's another week, another week down. And one step closer to that glorious Christmas holiday that we're all desperate to have with family. I'm going to come out a little bit because... I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. Yeah, so I'm really looking forward to it. I'm desperately tired, as I, as I know everybody else is. And um, really, really looking forward to a nice, long Christmas break. Let's get that, that colour in. I'm trying to avoid the little snowflakes. Although it won't be the end of the world if I do go over them. Right, I'm going to switch. I'm just going to try and be brave and switch to a, a normal paintbrush. So I've got a little pot of water by the side of me and I'm going to be brave. I'm going to try this. Oh gosh, here we go. That's hopefully going to give us a better spread of colour. Try and blend it out as I go. I might end up going over the snowflakes just to try and smooth it out. But the good thing about Neos and letting paper dry is that we can build up our layers and our colour. I think this is quite a nice colour actually for the background. A bit more water. Yeah, a whole week done. Gosh. And it's so nice to be back with you again tonight because it's Friday and I know that we've all got a rest coming tomorrow. It's so nice to be able to sit here and enjoy colouring with you again. So folks, something else I wanted to discuss with you. What shall we colour next? Is the question. So I've got several books. I've got, um, 
hang on, I'm just concentrating for a second. I've, we've got The Night Before Christmas, which everyone loves. We could do more in there. I've got Lizzie Mary Cullen's A Magical Christmas. I've got Joanna Basford's A Magical Christmas. I've got Hannah Carlson's um, Little Postcard Books. Um, winter, I can't think what it's called. Winter Dreams or something like that. We've got, um, um, what's the other ones? Uh, Ruth Sanderson, we've got a lot of her. We've got Charles Santor. Uh, tell me, tell me, should I put a poll up or shall I just wait for your answers in the comment? Let me know. Because we can put a poll up and then I can go with the majority and what's fair. I don't mind doing that. Um, but it would be nice to do ones that ones that everybody wants to see and we can all join in with. All right, I'm putting a little bit more on blue on my board. I'm getting a bit braver now. This brush is quite nice. I've never used them before. These are, or oh, I've never used this particular brush. These are graduate ones by Dela and Rowney. Um, this is a 10 and it's, it says it's a round brush. I got these from Hobbycraft in the UK. But um, Dela and Rowney are quite a well-known brand, so I think you'd better pick them up. I'm not sure, but I think you might better pick them up. But it is just a round number 10 brush. Um, I'm going for it, folks. And I'm quite happy if it doesn't come out smooth because it would be nice to blend some other colours in into it. So that would be quite good. But I'm trying to be brave and um, be a bit more adventurous. So I could use, I could try, if I feel brave enough, to add that one of those new gorgeous watercolours that I got. I'm going to be careful around here. I'm going to leave that out actually because we need to lighten that up maybe. Um, we could try one of those new gorgeous watercolours that I got to add a little bit more interest, blend, blend it in. be interesting to see how they work with the Neos, wouldn't it? Hmm. So, yeah, so should I put a poll up? I might, I might do that actually. Shall I, I'll just put a poll up with different books up with like a choice of like four or five books, something like that. And then you guys tell me because um, then I can come on on, what are we today, Friday, so it's Sunday and we can do colouring in that book, book that you've all chosen. That would be really nice. I know this looks a bit scruffy now, but this is how I did it in my, um, not with this brush, but this is how I did it in my rescue page that you all commented on. And then I just let it dry and just keep building up the colour. And then it does look streaky. Let's, let me come out just a tad. There you go. It does look streaky, but... Um, it's quite difficult to get your first base of Neo down without it looking streaky. So I'm just going with the flow. More water. Okay. Let's join this up. I have gone over the snowflakes there, but I'm not fast for a minute. We can cover that up. I was thinking of probably using um, something shiny for those stars anyway, uh, for those snowflakes anyway. I quite like the watery, the watercolour look that you get like this for the sky. But I will smooth it out. Okay. Again, I think I'm reassuring myself that it's all going to be okay. 
<laughs> Stupid, isn't it? Really is. Okay. It takes quite a bit of colour. Obviously, we've got a lot of background. So I'll go around there just very lightly until we've decided how deep the rest of the background is going to be. Okay. I'm going to tip you up slightly just so you can see. So it looks an awful mess right now. But I'm going to go off camera, dry it, and then we're going to come in with another layer. All right. Okay, folks, so I'll go off camera, I'll dry it, and then we'll meet back up and we'll do another layer. Okay? I'll see you in a sec. Okay, folks, so I dried it off and I put another coat on and just deepened it up at the base, and it's still really blotchy, so we're going to be working on that. Now, I got from Pigment and Quirks this set of uh, watercolours. And the colour I'm going to use, I'm going to try anyway, is this Glacier, Glacier Blue. And um, we're just going to put a little bit of sheen on there. So I am going to take, I've got my water in the way here. I have to be careful, you know what I'm like for spilling things. So I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to activate that blue. And because I haven't used them before, other than just swatching them, I'm just going to mix it in the, just act, reactivate it, and mix it in the little pan. And then I'm going to put some on my board. And then I'm just going to very delicately put some on there. And then we're going to work with that. This is scary, folks. Scary, scary. But if we don't um, experiment, we're never going to move forward, are we? So you're just going to have to roll with me on this. If if it fluffs up, then um, I apologise. <laughs> but I'm trying. Okay. Do you reckon we've got enough? Might just add a touch of water to it because they're very pigmented. So, like I say, Pigment and Quirks, I'll put a link in the bottom. I think I forgot last night, but I will put a link in the bottom to it. It looks extremely blue there on the palette, but let's try. Okay. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, folks. So, let me give it a try. Ooh. Ooh. Should we do it down here? So that if it's awful, if I mess it up, then we might be able to cover it up with something. Gosh, they go on so beautifully. Look at that. Oh my goodness, they're oh, they're a dream to work with. So this is the set that I purchased, not the one that um, I was sent for review. In case you were wondering, I purchased it. I went over once. I done rev the review and purchased some more I was so impressed and because I don't really have a decent set of watercolors I have I have had used some cheaper ones but I'm so impressed with how these work I mean look at that I'm just going to carefully go around that because I don't know how so these just have a shimmer. The other ones I showed you that I reviewed was Chameleon. But it would be really nice to just see how they work properly. And then I'm just all I'm going to do is let the paint run out. Look how far they travel. I'm going to let the paint run out so that it will blend into that Neo. We'll do a little bit behind here. Um, so we've got, um, staring me in the face, is Jane F. Hankins' book too. And I know a few of you have been over there and purchased it. Because it is such a gorgeous book and it's so refreshingly different. Um, so I will add this beautiful book to the poll too. Um, because there is just so many lovely, 
pictures in here. Like the elf on the shelf. Right, I'm just going to smooth this over a little bit. And that beautiful Christmas angel. Putting a tiny bit of water on my brush. And I'm just going to try and merge that in without peeling my paper. They're so, so beautiful. We'll see how that dries because it should have that shimmery, glossy look that we want. Or that I want. But if you don't have these, obviously the Neos work perfectly well and you just build up the colour. Or use a deeper colour. But I was excited to show, to use them because um, people are asking me why I'm not never use watercolors so now I've got them let's give them a shot and I want to save these ones for special special pages and this is special because Jane sent it to me so just cautiously going around here bit under here. Then when we've done all this exciting painting we can add the um, liquid pearls and dyeing to do that. We've got to fill in um, the glow around the star and we've got to finish her little shoes and bells. Oh I'm so impressed with these paints. They're so exciting. I thought they'd be really difficult to use but they've they're easier actually. I don't know why I've been so worried about which paints to get and but I'm so glad I found these ones. Right, just a bit of water on my brush again and I'm going to bring that up. I'm just going to blend that into our Neos. Uh. So lovely! So, oh, sorry, peeps, I'm getting all carried away. Okay. Alright, I'm going to add more water to it, to the one on our palette. Like that. And then we'll. Gosh, see how pigmented they are. Goodness me. And then we'll just come up here. A bit more water on my brush. I'm just going to let it fade out. It's taking quite a lot to fade it out. <laughs> I'm going to do the same over this side. So it's just a very watery version of it. Ooh, it's so exciting! Um, I don't know whether it, when it dries, like it's patchy there, but I don't know whether it, when it dries I will um, need to do another coat or not. I'm just going to take a little bit more paint. I'm being stingy and I'm just going to gently cover that bit. Okay and streaky here. Ooh, it's exciting. Right, now the other colour that's in there, that's really, really beautiful, is Frost. We could try that, couldn't we? Mix that over the top of the Neos. Shall we, shall we have a go? 
and see how it blends so it's this gorgeous and it's just like it says like the name says looks like frost so let's get that going and then what we'll do is try and blend that with that light blue um, blend that with that light blue neo okay a bit more water I'll try and just make sure I can spread it out because they're very pigmented okay where should we start let's start in the corner in, in case oh look oh gosh So lovely. I've gone quiet, folks. That's a rarity for me. I'm obviously concentrating. <clears throat> to get rid of that. Put some more water on. So I want to get rid of that line. But I might need to dry it first. So if I keep working it. I'm going to peel the paper. So we'll take some more. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous colour. I'll mix that up. A bit more water. There we go. Right, let's mix that up. They work well with the Neos. Don't have any blending issues. So that's nice to know because I haven't really tried mixing any other water mediums with Neos, but it works. I know it takes quite a long time to build up colour, but you're kind of getting the idea of where I'm going. There we go. Look, it's moving that those lines. That's a great mix look at that so we're kind of getting a that lighter haze that I wanted around the top like you do on a snowy day you know where the weather um, sky you know you look up and the sky is all full of snow you can see it you know it's just whiteness I'm slapping it on like I'm painting a wall now, but it's working. I'm quite happy. And then we should have a nice shimmery page. Oh, bit of water there. Let's put that out. Right. Okay. There. <clears throat> I need a bit round there. <coughs> Excuse me. It's my excitement, folks. Choking myself. <coughs> right, I'm going to go off and dry it because. Oh, that was my heat gun. Just going to say, I'm going to go off and dry it because I'm playing with it and I'm going to mess it up. So I'm going to go off and dry it. <coughs> and I might put a few more layers on. I might just leave it as it is. We'll see. Okay, I'll meet you in a second. All right, folks. So, um, I've gone over, I've dried it, and I've put another layer on, and I put the frost colour on that snow we did before. Look at that! <gasps> so lush, doesn't she look beautiful? I've started the liquid pearls, just to make sure that I could show you how best to do it. Now, before we do that, let's tackle this star. I'm going to turn it round. We're going to come in... And I've got four colours and in, si in size order. God, I'm losing the plot, people. Um, in darkest to lightest, we have got, let's see if I can get my camera to like it. There we go. I've got burnt ochre. I've got dark chrome yellow. I've got dark cadmium yellow. And I've got, let me try and get it out of the light. Uh, there you go, cadmium yellow. Okay, so I went round this gold star that we'd painted gold, 
um, with this um, burnt ochre and I'm, I'm going to use that just, you know like we, we did the pencil on the calendar and we used the brown, like the ochre colours to bring out the gold so I'm just going to give a haze of that around the star so it just doesn't go straight from gold into um, yellows and oranges. I just think it would look a little bit odd. So I'm just going to put this burnt ochre. I told you it's Friday night folks. I shouldn't be allowed on a Friday night. I should be banned from anything. I'm dangerous. <laughs> oh dear me. There we go. Okay, so I've just put a haze of that around. Then I'm going in with um, dark chrome yellow. And I'm going to go over that and bring the dark chrome yellow out. We'll go, I'll go back over it again and make sure all these colours stand out and that they blend well. Fill that in. I have had a blast colouring this page, I can tell you. Um, using those new supplies and being brave enough on camera to do it with you was quite a shock. But I'm, I'm quite pleased with how it's turned out. I think I need a bit more practice at blending the um, watercolours, but that's just patience. You know, I just need a little bit more patience. So I've gone back in with the burnt ochre. I'm just going to emphasise that haze a little bit more. Like that. And then back in with that um, dark chrome yellow. Because I have to work quite hard because I've done it on the textured side of the paper. Okay, then we're going in with dark cadmium yellow. And I'm trying to keep that that star shape for the minute. <clears throat> Then I'm going to go in with cadmium yellow. This is a quite bright yellow. And then I'm thinking I might finish it off with a little bit of cream. And that will help all our colours blend. And help that glow to like fade out so um, I've got cream there you go cream and then I'm gonna go over everything and bring that right out into the watercolor I have got a little bit there I can go back over that with gold. Oh, and I meant to say her eye last night. Oh, oh my goodness, if any of you were watching, I coloured the white of her eye. And I did put it on, um, I did say sorry in the description that I'd done it, because it must have driven some of you bonkers. And I am. Um, it wasn't until I was watching it back in the editing that I realised that I'd done it. So I immediately went in with a tiny bit of white gel pen and I thought I will tell all my lovely people tomorrow that I apologise and I have since fixed it. So I'm so sorry if that if, people, if you guys were looking and thinking, oh Lucy, stop doing it. Right, I'm just going to turn it, her up the right way. And... Keep blending. There. I'll blend I'll I'll blend that out smoother and go back over it in gold. Right, let's come out a little bit. So 
I've started these chain of liquid pearls and I'm using it's the it's not liquid pearls it's a Dovecraft 3D pearl effects and it is bright gold so if I come in quite close I'll show you how I've been doing it my hands are really shaky so let's come in quite close let's do it like this I'm sorry we are really close let the camera focus and Please don't go wrong and splat all over my page. You know I'm notorious for this, aren't I? Okay, so I'm putting it on. I'm going to turn around, actually, around the right way and get you in shot. I'm putting it on the edge and I'm just squeezing and I'm letting, keeping the nozzle still and I'm just letting it come out until it fills that gap and then lifting off. So until it fills the white, which it didn't there, and then I'm just lifting it off. Oh! Did you see that? I'm so close in. There you go. There. I hope you can see that. Right, it's a bit blurry. Let's come out. It's probably way too close in. Let's do a little bit more. So, I'm having fun. So, I'm just putting it on, filling up the gap, and then lifting off. And you will need some time to let that dry. So, that's how I'm going to do those. Then, oh, and the little jingle bells I'm going to do in that. Um... Hang on, right, let's come out and look at the whole thing. So don't do that until you're absolutely ready to... What should we do with the shoes? Um, I don't know. Hmm. I think grey would look odd. I was thinking of bringing the grey down from her eyes and her necklace. What about the blue? That might go quite well with the snow. We could try that. Should we try that? Do we need to be brave? I think I do. Okay, now we used, in our eye, we used cobalt blue. That would bring down the blues from her necklace and her eyes, and obviously the background. So, if we hate it, I can always go over it with gold paint. But it might be quite nice just to have that bit of blue. So I'm going around the bottom. I actually quite like that. Then I'm taking um, light cobalt... Light cobalt turquoise. Same as we did for her eyes. And I'm going to blend that in. Oh, I think that actually looks quite cute. Okay, and I'm going back to the dark colour. I'm going to go round here in the dark. Around the edge, on the inside. There we are. And then in with our turquoise, cobalt turquoise. And then, just for added good measure, I don't know if you let's come back in. For added good measure, we'll put the sky blue and just blend the whole thing. And then, aha! I'm just having so much fun with this stuff. I'm just going to wipe the nozzle off. And then our jingle bell. In gold. <laughs> so cute. I like it. I'm going to put 
yeah, quite like that. I wasn't expecting that to happen, but I would have blue shoes. But I might put some, we've got stickles up my sleeve. I might use some of those. Now I had gone over with watercolour there, but it seems to have covered. Go around there. Put a little bit of shading in the other one too. Oh, it's so exciting. I really, really enjoyed doing this page. It's just... Yeah, it's just been so enjoyable. And such good fun watching this um, dancing tree come to life. Fill in that. I'm going to leave a little bit for that uh, sky blue. Uh, oh no, I've just smudged the. That's oh, right, it's rubbed off. I've just smudged the um, gold. That's why I say don't do any of it, and any of that, until you've finished the page. Okay. All right, let's come out. Okay. That needs a little bit more cobalt turquoise to match the other shoe. Now, snowflakes, I've got stickles, these are the only stickles I own, the rest of them are all um, uh, Dovecraft ones, but this one is diamond and it is a beautiful colour, so I'm going to wear Jane's given us snowflakes, they're going to get stickled. And I love the fact that because they're PDFs, you don't have to worry about the page behind. You know, if you wanted to colour the page behind and it becomes all lumpy and bumpy because you've put stickles and liquid pearls and stuff like that on. So that's how I'm going to do those. So what I will do on the tree, because um, it's clear the stickles, I will colour in the lightest colour we use, which was May Green. I'm just going to colour the snow in so that when we put the um, stickles on, it's still green underneath. I have to be careful because I've got liquid pearls that are wet everywhere now. And a bit there. One there. There. Right, I hope that made sense. You could have left it white, I could have left it white, but... There, right. Okay, I'm going to finish the liquid pearls and I'm going to put my stickles on, I'm going to dry it and I'll come back to you when she is in all her glory and finished and happy. All right, folks, I'll see you in one second. Ta-da! The magic of YouTube and here she is. I have stickled and glistened and yeah even her shoes I put stickles on she deserves to be special and shiny now I've fluffed up on the trees I told you to colour them in the snowflakes in green uh -uh. snow's meant to be white so I went back in with a white gel pen and then just added all that lovely stickles it's shiny isn't she adorable I love her. So I'm going to set her aside. I have used the heat gun, but I'm going to set her to one side and let her dry properly, um, completely, because you know what I'm like. I'm such a klutz. I'll end up with liquid pearls everywhere. Um, I have thoroughly enjoyed this colour along with you. It's been so much fun experimenting, using my new watercolours. Um, and yeah, it's been such a, a learning curve and a wonderful journey because it just... You know, unless you experiment, you're never going to know whether you can do these things or not. So I will put a link down to Jane's gorgeous book down below. I will put a link to Pigment and Quirks paints down below. And I, I will put a poll in the community tab. Now, a few people said to me, how do you find it? 
if you are subscribed to me and you go onto home page you click home on your YouTube and it's about like a third of the way down the page and it will show you everyone that you subscribe to if they post in comments it will come up there so that's where the poll will be if, you, if you'd had difficulty finding it okay so I will post a, uh, a poll up with you know four or five colouring books that you can choose from and I'll go with the majority to colour it in and um, so that will be Sunday we will do another colour along on Sunday so lovely people until Sunday enjoy your colouring um, don't forget to go over and, and look for the poll as soon as I post it and we will meet again on Sunday take really good care of yourselves folks and I'll see you Sunday night night